I have been super thrifty today. I just arrived at Heritage Antique Mall. Uh, I've only spent $120 today, 121 to be exact. Um, this is my third stop. I'm looking for uber unique and kitschy for my Etsy shop. And I'm also looking for really good deals for my whatnot, which I just started doing. So I just got to Heritage Antique Center. Let's see what we can find here. been super frugal but this is beautiful 16 I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't buy this I just had one like this and it sold for over $30 um, I am gonna keep looking before I start grabbing stuff for over that amount though <laughs> all right well what's happening here I love the little face picture and then the Lego Japan, I guess, are they Lego or Holt Howard? Holt Howard. As is set of 430. No, thanks. Those aren't the best selling for me, even though I usually get really excited to find Holt Howard stuff. What is, what is this set of chefs? Oh my gosh. How fantastic are these? Unfortunately, um, it's broken. So. <laughs> so well oh my gosh wait look at the snow globes i don't like shipping liquid but that is a pretty epic one. Oh, how cute little birds and the duck oh my gosh that is too cute how much is this one 25 oh i don't want to spend that that's probably about what i'd sell that for all right i guess i'm gonna start over here 15 Hmm. So many cute little Eastern knickknacks. I've been finding some great salt and pepper shakers over here. The teapot set, 14. That's a super fair price, but eh, not my favorite. And I've had this flower pot one before. That one's only eight dollars. If it was a little bit less, I'd probably do it. I don't see a discount sign in this booth. Um, whoa! Look at the little bone china nursery um it's kind of mix matched actually yeah they have such incredible things in this case oh look here's um here's a whole box of bone china i found really this is a really good deal actually i don't really want to mess with those they look super delicate i mean they're all delicate and i ship them all the time but i don't feel like doing it today i guess that's what i'm trying to say well this is kind of funny it looks like uh yeah, I was going to say they all look like Gobo Bunnies. $8. Those are really fairly priced. And I love this pink color. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. $75. Oof, let me put that down. Oh, it's so kitschy in this booth. I love it. Hmm. Well, egg cup. $10. That's about what I'd sell that for, too. Uh, this is a really fun table. And of course, I love that Tiffany blue. What is this? Pineapple ashtray, Puerto Rico, $14. That's made in Japan. It's super neat, but a little too, well, definitely too expensive for resale. At least in my book. What's this shell? That is neat. Oh, wow. It's a wall pocket too, $10. Huh. Is there a discount? I feel like that would probably do pretty well. Is it Hull? I can't remember off the top of my head. It would probably be great in like a mermaid bathroom too. I think I should get this. I think someone might get upset if I don't. Especially because mermaids and fish are so collectible. And I'm just realizing I left the fish at Mother Talkers, of course. Was it Mother Talkers? I don't even remember. I think it was. You know what? Let me stop. I think this would be a great item for my Etsy, and I do think I can still double my money on it, especially because it's pink and black. Uh, let's see what else they have here. This is a very strange piece. And then the vase, I love that, but 24 is definitely too high for me to do anything with it. Well, that's very pretty, but 25, I can't do anything with that. I was kind of going for these. Uh, I thought maybe it was for all of them, but they're five dollars each, which is what I was gonna do with them. I was gonna put them in my five dollar whatnot sale. This is kind of pretty. Five dollars. Japan. Huh. What about the vase? No, that's not. 
that's not for me. I do kind of like this bowl, although I've already kind of gotten one. I'm not sure if I want to get two. I want to see maybe how good the first one does before I get multiple, even though I sound ridiculous being this cheap over like a couple dollars. Well, I got kind of excited to see cats, but they kind of all look new. Yeah, or whatever that is. Yeah, new. Um, this booth has like really, really good prices. So, uh, am I seeing anything down here? No, 26 and 14. Dang, this is a really neat set. So you know what? After much thought, I'm just gonna take it because I think it's just very, very pretty. <sighs> that actually, I didn't see. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let me see. Ah, I'm so flip floppy right now. I think I can still make money off of it. It's very pretty. I actually ended up getting a little bit of a discount. So I only spent $25 in there and now I'm off Mad Hatter, Adamstown. I'm not sure which one's next, but I'll see you when I get there. Well, I must've been in that last spot all but a couple of minutes. So I decided to stop at Adamstown Antiques. I'm just gonna do a quick breeze through. I normally find larger stuff here and I'm looking for smaller stuff, but you never know what you're gonna find unless you stop, right? Oh, wow, this is pretty amazing. This little doggy pillow, I guess it's a sachet. Um, this is pretty neat too. <laughs> Look at that, that is awesome. I don't wanna ship that though. This booth has such unique, I mean, this whole place has super unique stuff. I feel like every time I've come here, I've bought something for myself, which I don't do probably as often as you'd think. Um, rhino rollers, that's an amazing shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's hilarious. Sad puppy, $12. <laughs> These are kind of interesting, $24 each. Oh, yeah, just kidding. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh. And this is exactly what I mean when I say you don't know what you're gonna find unless you stop. This is easily, I can't even remember how much the last one I sold for it was. Um, I wanna say it was probably $145. Uh, $10, it's got a chip on it, but $10, we're not gonna be too upset because we're gonna get it for sure um it definitely will have to be a little deducted for the damage but still i think it's gonna sell really easily and really quick because it is so hard to find and so desirable also i love this bear how much is if he could only tell the stories oh my gosh stop wait all right let me pick up this like freaking <laughs> random rat thing i just dropped look at this well loved bear, eighteen dollars. Well, I thought he said eight at first. Um, he's gonna have to have someone else love him that much for <laughs> eighteen. But I am gonna go ahead and run up with this planter. All right. Well, now I'm seeing it's very, very, very repaired. Just kidding. I don't know how I missed that. Wow. I feel, <laughs> I feel really silly. Um, it's one thing to have a nick. It's another thing to be like very, very broken. I don't feel comfortable selling this. So, uh unfortunately oh, but I could run it as an auction on eBay and I even as much as I hate eBay I think I'd still make money on it we'll see I don't know let me take a breath I need to make a correction <laughs> so I got overzealous the one I was thinking about was a Relpo one I sold this Napco one whereas in good condition it does sell upwards of $75 um this one is super, super repaired, so I'm gonna leave it alone. But I just wanted to like, at least correct what I said, since I don't wanna be like giving mission information out there. I do love this pin cushion. They're usually very expensive, but I'm gonna look anyway, cause why not, I'm over here. And I already see it's cracked, a lot of them are. It's very cool though, 28.50, yeah, that's not for me. Very pretty, I love the way this booth is displayed. Cranberry glass vase, 55. Yeah, that's about right. All right, let me move on. Ooh, I really like this face, uh, vase <laughs> jacket though. Well, don't get too excited because I'm not gonna buy anything in this booth for resale. It's really expensive, even though it's incredible. I've bought stuff for myself in this booth. I did have to show you guys this fish planter that wasn't there the last time. So neat. I 
and whatever this incredible frog situation is. <laughs> yeah, wow, see like this, I'm a total sucker for that. I love this painting. Whoa. Two twenty-five Spanish mouth. See, this is incredible. I like don't even know what it is, and I feel like it's totally worth it. Um, gun cat. That's gonna be expensive. That mouse is something spectacular. I'm like, how does someone even find this stuff? Like these, I'm obsessed with. I really want them in my home. I shouldn't look too long at this because every time I do, I leave with like ten things on my wish list. Speaking of vintage clothes, there's a couple pieces in here I cannot ignore. Love that dress. Um, this is me all day, by the way. Looks a little too big for me though. $40, I'm not spending that. I'm too cheap, even though it's not unreasonable. Wow, this is really cool too. They have amazing selection here. This is really fun. Oh my gosh, I'm totally nuts right now for clothing in this booth. Like, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. How much is that? $39. <sighs> but also like this, this is so pretty. You know what I need to do? I need to scratch this itch by going to Old Glory. But also what is this? Beige dress with studs? There's not enough studs on there to justify buying that for me, but yeah, very cool. I need to go to Old Glory for sure. Like, what is this hand-painted fish blouse? That's so awesome. Bob Serviceman? What? Epic. I actually didn't find anything at Adamstown Antique Mall. Uh, I've just been bopping around today trying to get in as many places as possible. So next I'm up at the Mad Hatter. I am still looking for stuff for my whatnot sale and of course, stuff for my Etsy.